Yo, what is good guys, back here with another YouTuber video, and in case you cannot tell by the title below, this video will be a video where I share my thoughts and opinions on someone or something going on in this wacky weird world called professional wrestling, guys. You can tell by the title below, this video will be a video where I share my thoughts on uh, Shawn Michaels, one of the greatest, arguably, wrestlers of all time kind of deal, or at least, uh, he was Big Match Sean, uh, before the whole nickname Big Match came into play, or at least, um, for myself personally and whatnot, and before I share my thoughts and opinions, would love to know what yours are on him down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification, of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. And when it comes to Shawn Michaels, to be completely honest, I grew up watching him, but it was the Shawn Michaels 2.0 kind of deal. I started uh, watching in like 04, roughly a year and a half after he came back from his back injury. So I can't really say, oh, I don't like Shawn Michaels because of the stuff that he did in the Attitude Era, because yeah, there's some stuff I probably would have disagreed with, uh, but I didn't grow up watching it. But when it comes to Shawn Michaels, he was my first, uh, or maybe not my first, but he was like one of the two people that I, when I first started watching Monday Night Raw, uh, I watched for kind of deal. I said it before, started watching in January of 04, uh, Smackdown uh, back then kind of deal. It wasn't until around uh, WrestleMania uh, 20 where I figure, figured out that, hey, there's wrestling on Monday night kind of deal and there was the show called WWE Experience and um, showed pretty much uh, the best of Raw and Smackdown the week prior and that's how I found out about Edge, all-time favorite, and Shawn Michaels, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, kind of deal and he, I like Edge, again, all-time favorite, but there was something different about Michaels for myself personally uh, and whatnot in the fact that he, like, Edge was more character driven, Michaels kind of character driven, but more match uh, driven. And I mentioned earlier that it, he is, or at least was, big match Sean kind of deal. When it comes to pay-per-views, especially big four, who could you count on? Sean Michaels. You could put him in the opening match or the main event, somewhere in between uh, kind of deal. And he would always deliver kind of deal. Him on the mic, not necessarily the best kind of deal, but a lot better than what I what I would be or what I would be able to do given the same circumstance uh, kind of deal and whatnot. But he is, in my opinion, just based off the what I would call the second run, 02 till 2010 uh, kind of deal. Best professional wrestler, sport, maybe not best professional wrestler actually, best sports entertainer uh, kind of deal and whatnot. Uh, and like I said, he is a, one of my all-time favorites, top five uh, kind of deal and whatnot. But yeah, for myself personally, I really like Sean. He should have retired in April of 2010, not came back uh, to do that one match uh, and whatnot. But again, but again, money talks sometimes and whatnot. But yeah, that is uh, it. For uh, this video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. More importantly, hope you guys are doing okay uh, mentally, emotionally, and physically. The world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. Lying to myself, yeah. Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die I feel like I'm just lying to myself But it's 